All right, check it out. We're on a roll. It is Lunch with Scott, <laughs> episode two. Uh, good job me, keeping this up for two days in a row. All right, today for lunch, I had leftover uh, Korean rice cake, spicy rice cakes that I made from Blue Apron and chicken. I reheated them in the office microwave. I ate them, they were good. Good job me again, cooking and eating the food that I paid for. Uh, but today, you're not gonna see me eat because it's already like two o'clock. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was busy at work, so I couldn't come out here at lunchtime, so it's way after lunchtime. Anyway, we are at this place with an awesome fountain. This is the Worldwide Plaza. It's in between 49th and 50th Streets. It's in between 8th and 9th Avenue. Let me show you around the Worldwide Plaza so you can see what's going on here. So here we have an office building. Pretty tall. Whoa, office building. Over here you have this uh, burrito place. It's not Chipotle. Over here you got a burger place. Over here you got an apartment building. And on the other side of the apartment building, I think there's another apartment building. I think it's actually two apartment buildings. Underneath us, which is why I'm looking at the ground here, are the One World Stages, right? Avenue Q and some other uh, off-Broadway shows are down underneath our feet. And the entrance to get in there is on the other side of the, of the original place. So that's what's the Worldwide Plaza today. Of course, there's this little uh, public-private park in the middle, right? It's not necessarily a public park like Central Park, but the, it's open to the public, even though it's privately owned by whoever owns the Worldwide Plaza. And it has this nice fountain in it, and you can just eat lunch here. It's pretty good. Anyway, so what used to be here? That's, that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, way, way back. I guess it was a forest. <laughs> Right, but in terms of you know modern history of New York, this was in like before the twenties, maybe even in the twenties. This was where the trolleys parked. Right, there's like the garage for the trolleys, you know, the streetcar before they eliminated the streetcar all Roger Rabbit style. This is where they kept the streetcars when they weren't being used. But then, I think 1928, something even more important went here, right? They got, they got rid of the streetcar. This was the location of, anyone, I'm sure someone must know, Madison Square Garden number three, right where I'm sitting right now. So Madison Square Gardens number one and two were in Madison Square, <laughs> no surprise. Uh, the current Madison Square Garden that is on the former, well, it's, it's on top of Penn Station. Uh, that is Madison Square Garden 4. This is where Madison Square Garden 3 was. A lot of shit went down in Madison Square Garden 3. This is where uh, there was an anti-Nazi rally as well as, I believe, a Nazi rally. All both in the same building. The Nazi rally obviously came first and then the anti-Nazi rally came during World War II. There's a lot of boxing going down here, but not Ali Frazier. Ali Frazier, I think, was in the early 70s. That happened at the new Madison Square Garden, not here. Um, a lot of Rangers and Knicks games went down here. The Rangers won three Stanley Cups for I'm sitting. Uh, they only won one Stanley Cup in the other building. Uh, Madison Square Garden Ford, that is, right? They won in 94 over there, but they won three cups over here. Uh, you know, when Marilyn Monroe sang happy birthday to the president, JFK, his birthday party. That was right here too, right where I'm sitting. Right. So you can come to New York, you walk around, you look at stuff, and you say, oh, it's an office building, it's a generic office building, and you know, some other everyday New York stuff, people eating lunch, fountain. You don't even know that this is not some lame old place. This is a super important place, an amazing place. So there's your as your lunch with Scott, all right? I'm sure if you want to know more about that square garden, one, two, three, and four, you can go to Wikipedia and learn more than you would possibly want to know, more than I could tell you. But that's all for today. I'm just gonna chill out and go back to work eventually. All right.
see you maybe tomorrow.